you not. The one thing we lack when we buy an iPhone is about privacy. Of course, Apple has its own terms of privacy, but what we need is beyond that. Really, a single phone lock is not sufficient for us. What we need is able to lock apps. Apple has released its Touch ID API to developers in iOS 8, which will be useful to lock the individual apps, but many of the developers are not using it. So what should we do to protect our personal apps? Don't worry, we got you covered with jailbreak. There are many tweaks in Cydia which will allow you to lock apps. Among them, now we are going to discuss about a tweak called Bio Lockdown. Usually this tweak costs $1.99, but if you are unable to purchase the tweak, please watch my previous video on how to download paid Cydia tweaks for free, which I will drop the links in the description. Now let's see what this tweak does. See now I can open all my apps without any restrictions. Now let's go to settings and open settings of by lockdown. Enable it. Now come to my home screen. Then look at there. It's asking for my fingerprint. Same for then gadget too. So this is how the tweak works. Now Let's go to the settings pane of Pi Lockdown. Now the first setting is about enabling or disabling Bio Lockdown. And the second one is about the grace period. So what is grace period means? If you enable grace period, it gives you some time between two successful authentications. Say if you select grace period for two minutes. And if you open any app that is protected by Bio Lockdown, then Bio Lockdown is disabled temporarily for 2 minutes. And if you lock your device, meanwhile, the Bio Lockdown again comes into play. Touch ID takes you to the settings pane of password and touch ID. Now here is the main thing, the new restrictions here you can see, select the apps, folders, features, switches, setting panes you want to lock. Now here in features, if you see, if you enable answer phone, if anyone calls you, it will not show the caller ID until you authenticate using your fingerprint. Similarly, you can also protect placing a phone call. Now coming to vibrations, you can set different vibration modes like these. You can also protect your app switcher by blurring them or making them black or making them white. Like you can see here I set it to white and when I open my app switcher I can see all my apps with a white foreground. Now lock device on cancel. If you enable it, it will lock the device when you click on cancel in the authentication prompt. If you select the second one, it simply dismisses the authentication prompt. Now, if you go to your protected apps, then here you can select either you want to use a passcode or fingerprint, or if you want to use both of them. And you can also even select which fingerprint you can use to authenticate. And also, you can select Wi Fi networks on which you want BioProtect to be shut down. If you like this video, Please like, comment, share and subscribe. And also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Gmail. Thank you.